Good morning, folks. I'm going to try to post this first thing in the morning. Um, and if you saw the setup that I had in order to do this, you'd laugh because it's it's a mess. But this is the new, this is my copy of the new Stampin' Up! June 1st to 2016 to May 31st, 2017 annual catalog No Hunter. Back off. Um, and it kind of, the cover has some of the new ink colors, well, all the new ink colors. There's Dapper Denim, em Emerald Envy. Um, you have to give me a minute on that one. Good. Pink Flamingo, Peekaboo Peach, and you'll have to give me a minute because I don't remember what that one is. And in it, um, we're going to go through really quick, and I'm just going to show you some of the things I think are must-haves. What is that color called? Dapper Denim, Emerald Envy, Pink Flamingo, Peekaboo Peach, and Sweet Sugar Plum is the other color. I don't know why that green is on the front, but anyway, because that's mint macaroon, so anyway. So, I'm just going to go through and look at the yummies in here, and I'll kind of point out some of the ones that I think are particularly um, exciting. Um, this is, they've got kits for several different card design, uh, card projects. And it gives you just about everything you need to make. Um, this one's for 20 cards. And it's called Oh Happy Day. And it's got the embellishments, it's got the shapes, it's got the envelopes, it's got the cards, it's got I mean, yeah, everything. All you need to, and it's got the stamp and ink too. So all you need to do is grab some adhesive and go. It's kind of fun. And this is another one. It's called Watercolor Wishes. This is the stamp set that comes with it. Okay, now, um, this stamp set I just can't get into. I don't understand why. It's, I don't know. Right, here we go. We're starting to get into the stuff that I, I dig. And if it's in this weird color, it means it coordinates with the punch. In this case, it's, it coordinates with the pansy punch. I like this rose set, too, over here. The birthday blooms. It's cute, too. Let me see if I can't move you in just a little bit closer. There you go. Let's see if that works. Okay, so on this page I liked this, the um, birthday banner set, mostly because this little sentiment here, it says, time to put out this tiny fire while we sing you a song. That's hilarious, and it go it fits in here, so it's really really cute. But I like that, and I think you should have a birthday set because we're always making birthday cards. Then um, these I don't I'll find a use for them I'm sure, especially this little thing. But I don't know I haven't that didn't catch my eye right away as much as some of the other things did. I like that idea with the candies. We're just going to walk through really quick. And I'm just going to show you some of the stuff I like. I like this idea here. The uh, balloons that you can do a couple different ways because you can have the... It kind of stamps a solid image and then you can have a different color for the um, outline of the, the uh, balloon and then you can put this inside or you can do them all separately or you can do just one or two together and I love these little dandelion bits and then you can have the strings or the string that says let us celebrate it's it's fun a bunch of Christmassy things and it's not even the end of May yet um, well it is, it's the last day of May um, this won't upload until tomorrow, though, uh, June 1st. But I'm trying not to think too much about Christmas, because I'm already stressed out as it is about... <laughs> uh, anyway. Then, this leaf set called Vintage Leaves, I really, really like this. And I have a similar set from another company, but it doesn't stamp very good. So I'm hoping that this will stamp much better than the other set that I have. And it's got some great ideas, and it does have... Um, it does have a matching die. Uh, it's called the Leaflets Framelits, I think. Oh, it says right here. The Leaflets Framelits die. So I like that. 
And then over here, I like the um, the ruched ribbon. I like the envelope paper. I like the designer uh, in color designer series paper stack, and on and on and on. I also like this thank you so much stamp. And then I like that it's outside images and inside images to cards, so you can have thank you so much, and then on the inside, your generosity is second only to your fabulosity. Uh, thanks. If I could see, if you could see my face, you'd see the smile you put on it. So there's a lot of great sentiments in here. In this side, I really like this. I thought this would be good for watercoloring, which is kind of what they did here. But I'm thinking with maybe embossing and then just kind of washing it over, washing the uh, in, uh, watercolor over. Then this over here has the thanks kindly, and I like that. Over here is another sentiment step I, set I like. Because I like um, always kind, always giving, always there. And then on the inside you can put thanks for being you, or you can switch them up. And then thank you for seeing me through some dark days and some and for brightening the rest. I think that's awesome. And I got I have this stamp set and I love it because I like the you make me ridiculously happy. And it coordinates completely perfectly with the affectionately yours suite. So and this is a coppery um the the set has well the copper embossing powder, which I'm really excited about. Um I'm really excited about that, but it, the Affectionately Yours Specialty Designer Paper. Um, the next project I show will have this set with this. Um, and I don't have the embossing powder yet, but that's going to be one of the next things I get. Plus, there's, I believe, um, let's see. No, it maybe it doesn't have um, dyes. Does it? Does it? I don't think it does which I would really, really like the dyes that match, but that's okay. And I, I just love this whole set. I like the colors because I like copper. I like browns, and it, it, it coordinates with um, Crumb Cake and Knight of Navy. I love that color combination. Um, plus uh, Watermelon Wonder. Um, I think Mint Macaroon. Or maybe it's Cucumber Crush. <laughs> Does it say? I think it's Cucumber Crush it. It coordinates with. And then, of course, Whisper White, but Daffodil Delight, I believe, matches with it. And another pink. I can't think of it right now. Anyway, I love this set. So this is one of my must-have sweets. I, I just love it. Don't know so much about the embossing folders, because I can't really see the entire image. So I'll have to look and find out if I can find the entire image. Um... Let's see. I do like these as well, but I don't know, some of the other uh, sentiment sets I think I like more. I'll probably end up getting these, though, because I like that flourish a lot. And I believe this is the... is a framelit that it matches with. What is it called? Not the Sweetheart. Large numbers. One ninety-three. Let's let's hop over there real quick because that's gonna bug me. One ninety-three. Okay. Okay. So that banner matches with the banner there and blossom heart framelits. One ninety-four. So maybe it does match with some of them at least. Mayflowers, Botanical Builders, Bloomin' Coordinates with the Bloomin' Heart, then let's die. Bloomin' Hearts. Oh, dirt, right there. Um, you can use that, those two little bits, um, to cut out these. So, and these, but not the big flower, which, mer, 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 mer. Okay. So, anyway, I like this set. Because it, it has some things that are for scent. Um, what word am I? Oh, no, no, no. Sympathy cards. But they're not overly sappy. They're kind of, 
bad stuff happens. I wish it hadn't happened to you. Well, this just stinks. Sorry, I, ha I don't have something more profound or poetic to or sentimental to say, but I just want you to know how very much I love and care about you. Perfect. Because not everybody is the, you know, flowy, prayerful type um, sentiment or, or sympathy card um, maker. And although I like that very much, it's nice to have an alternative. So uh, I like that. But then on the other hand, this one has a praying that your heart will be lifted in many ways. So uh, I don't know, you, you have both op options, and that's, that's kind of nice. So I, I want both sets. I want the set and the set. Um, but I also like the just a note. Thank you very much. I don't like the sappy marriage ones. I don't know why. Let's see. Keep going. And this is one that's carried over for a long time and I've resisted getting it. But I think I might just because, I don't know, I, I just kind of, it's grown on me, I suppose. And then there's a Best Birds and that's got a lot of... Uh, a lot of pieces that cut out, but I really like this um, texture piece here. And we got this, and I dig it. It's just one stamp, and it's wood mount, but I dig it. It's I think you could cut this out and make a shaker. I think you could put it with um, like a soup mix. I think you could just send it as a Get Well Soon card. But I, I think there's a lot of different options, so I'm going to get this one, and that's going to be one of my projects that I share. Um, how to make. And then this is really, really cute, and you can do something very similar to um, to this. With You could make a shaker card with this. Uh, you could use this to cut out, because it, it's a die umbrella weather framelits. So you could use the stem, or the handle of the umbrella, plus that little knobby part there, and then use the die to cut out this and have, like, shaker elements behind it. Cute, huh? No, no? Cute? Cute? And then the same thing with the, uh, what are those? Clouds. Adorable. For kids' cards, uh, adorable. It's a whole set. And it's very, I think it's pumpkin pie, I think. Mm -hmm. And then pool party and, um, the gray, but basic gray. I can't remember if that's the right color. I think it's pumpkin pie, but I'm not sure. I'd have to dig out my book and find out. Cute, huh? Lots of baby stuff. I don't make a whole lot of baby cards, though. And everybody's gaga over this. I don't know. I, I just don't like bears. I don't... They're not my favorite. I don't know why. I'm just not super gaga about it. And there's another set in here that people are just all over it. And I don't, I don't get it much. But this is adorable too, no? The fairies. I thought about it for my daughter. And I like this. Welcome little lamb. Fleece Navidad for fleece on a... <laughs> I like puns. Hogs and kisses. Have an award-winning day. Hope your day is just ducky. One cute chick. Meh. How now? It's funny because I say meh a lot. When people ask, how are you doing? Meh. I don't know why. Um, and then this is great if you if you want to do some camping layouts, or you could do any kind of card or gift bags or anything. I, I love this idea. And I like this a lot, and I thought, how cute would it be to make a shaker? And they've got a shaker here, but have bones in there, like cut out little um, bones. Like you could stamp this um, on black, and then emboss it in white, and then cut out the little bones and put those in there for the shaker. Cute, huh? Okay. Let's keep going. This set... Mm. The only thing I like about this is right here, this designer paper, it looks a little tie-dye. I just don't like the Moroccan theme. I think it's super busy. and it, I don't know. Maybe I'll find a way to like it. I, I guess I kind of like that because it looks like tile. Um, which would make sense. Moroccan tile is very popular. But I don't know. I just don't dig the. I don't dig it as much. Other people just love it, and I. I would. Ha you know what's probably going to happen is people are going to make things with it, and I'm going to see different ways to make it, and different ways that do appeal to me, and that'll be top on my list of things I need to have. Because that's how it generally happens. This butterfly set I like a lot, and it's got the different sizes, and you can layer them up. So I like that. 
cute. I like this set because you, I like the sentiment sets a lot. So I don't think you can ever have enough sentiments, and I don't care what brand it is. I love it. And I have this set, and I love it, and I use it all the time. I've got the, uh... I've got the punch to do the large ones, but not the little ones, so that'll be on my list. But I love it. I love it. Because I don't have the bitty butterfly, I've got the elegant butterfly. I love it, and I like how they demonstrated it. And then here's some more great, um sentiments and you can create whatever you want it to say you can say hello daughter um thank you uh let's see thank you friend i love you mom whatever then these sets i love every brand that has a uh, canning jar i love it i don't know why i just do um but i like that you can put this like, you can do a, like, a state fair, kind of. Because you know how they're always doing those plink it into the jar to get the goldfish games? Um, I think they're terrible, but that's beside the point. But I thought that would be cute in the jar. Or um, you could do the bug, and you could make the end look like it's lighting up. I'll have to show you that, because I, I really, really want you that. I really, really want this set so I can show some projects and there's a product that's not Stampin' Up! related that I'd like to show you how to use to make it light up. Adorable. So, that's some Martha Stewart product, but I shouldn't mention that here. And then you can make it be a, uh, a shaker like this. There's a lot of shaker cards in here. Um, but I think that would be cute. You could do it with butterflies, so it looks like you have butterflies floating around in here. Cute, huh? And then here's where we go to my favorite, 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 because I like the, this is my favorite suite in the whole thing. Um, I like the floral, I like the water, uh, watercolory look of the stamp, everything. I, I want this entire set. Um, there's a thinlet that's, um, what is it called? A uh, detailed floral thinlet. Then it's got the washi that matches, it's got the <clears throat> night of navy and white. Um, color palette here, and it's very clean, very simple, but I like how they used it with yellow here. I really, really like that color combination of navy, white, and like a goldenrod yellow. I like that. People are crazy about the pineapple too, and I don't get it. But more great um, sentiments and banners and such. This is cute, and I like that piece here. I like that a lot. Buy your own present, BYOP. Some gift cards. Cute. Okay, my camera's yelling at me. Papa Pink. Flamingo. Everybody loves the Flamingo this year, too. And then, I like these. going. Keep going. This I like a lot because I like the seashore theme. That butterfly I like a lot. This is going to be a long video to upload, I'm sorry. Um, from the By the Sea, um, what are they calling it? Hold on. By the shore, um, they got they retired the set I have, but I still love it. But I also like this, so I'm gonna try to get this one too. Maybe use it interchangeably with that set that I already have, which is by the sea. This is the one I I like. Um, the dogs and cats, I think they're adorable. But it's more cutesy than I do, usually. I like these little clips. And I like that idea with the vellum, or not vellum, what is that, acetate? On a bag. And then the tags, and then the butterfly. I like that a lot. No idea what I'd give in this. And then this is the coordinates with the pansy punch flowers. Q. 
cute, huh? I really like these flowers. I like that it matches very much with the honeycomb uh, set, uh, six-sided sampler. And it's very similar to how those were because one of them had the writing, one of them had the different designs. I like that, so I'm going to get that. I'm going to spread it out, of course, because crazy pants. I've got this set, I think. No, I don't. No, I don't. But I like it. I've got a set by a different brand, and they're smaller. Feathers. Different brand altogether. And then, I like this because you can make the flower top tips be different. So it kind of gives you some versatility there. I like the um, texture here, and I like this saying here. There's nothing in the caterpillar that tells you it's going to be a butterfly. I like that. And it goes with the bitty butterfly punch, and then there's a circle punch that this coordinates with. Three quarter inch, I think. Anyway, moving on. I dig that a lot. I can't tell you how much I dig that. I think that's fantastic. The One Wild Ride, fantastic. And I think one of the uh, more prominent demonstrators designed that, I believe, but I'm not sure. But it's really cool. And I like this set with the old timey uh, everything. I dig it. Let's see. This set is really, really cool. They had in their occasions catalog. A, um, a travel themed set and it would have been perfect with this. I really wish it had um, come over onto this catalog but it didn't which is sad because I really really thought it would and it, this is another suite that I just don't I don't know I can't get into it I've tried liking it but I do like this texture set I think this is a fantastic texture set um, it's got like a little washi, it's got some splatter I like it a lot, and this will be on, on the top of my list. And I've got that set, Gorgeous Grunge. I love it, and I use it all the time. See, there's that pineapple. Um, for these, I do like this one very much, and I think I'll be using that and this one for a lot of different projects. I've already got this somewhere here in the house. I just don't know where. Um, but I think if you've got one of these, you really don't need the other except for the fact that the lines are a little bit cleaner on this one but I think you can just turn the stamp and kind of do a very similar look this set is cute or this suite is cute because I like this uh, die because you can put it behind or behind things and make it look like just texture in the background or you can use it as it's intended um, this grateful no remarkable you I like and then this wild light wild kind of wildlife themed one. It's called In the Meadow. I like that a lot. I like the tiny little butterflies and the mountainscape. I've got this set and I adore it. Here comes Frack because he's going to lay on us. I've got this set and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Frack, please stop. And then I like this because I like waterfowl and nature, natural kind of images. And I think this is one that's been in an, uh, another catalog and just carried over. This is cute. Um, I like that you can make a whole calendar for somebody if you wanted. It's really, really cute. I like that. All you need to do is add some numbers. I like this set. The For You. Or Blooms and Wishes, rather. Because I like this For You image. I've got this set. Um... Still haven't worked out how to do this and have it be right every time because it's a four. St there's four pieces to the stamp to make it very almost pick almost like photorealistic. But I I really like the sentiments. You are made of wonderful and dream without fear, love without limits. I like that. And then more texture again. And I like the bee. Texture is a big deal this year. The botanical blooms that has a matching dyes uh, botanical builder, but it's also got some something something else about that set, but I don't remember what it is. Cool, I like this where it looks like a blueprint sketch. 
this is a nice set. I like it. And I'm warming up the, to this set a little bit. The more and more I, I see it used, the more and more I like it, which pretty much is how it turns out for me always. That what that hot air balloon reminds me of my sister-in-law. This is to make a kite. This and this make a kite when you stamp, double stamp them. Like you stamp this one and then you stamp this one. It makes a kite. Or you can use it as leaves if you really, really want to. I don't know. This set is another one of those that's not my favorite, but I imagine cute things can be made. I just don't have the patience. See, this number set can be used maybe with the uh, perpetual calendar that I showed you earlier that just needs numbers added. So that would be cute. See, and I like that. Project kits, cute stamp set, Project Life, more dates that you can be used with that other one, or Project Life, obviously. Um, and then the papers and all the different papers. Fantastic. Um, here's the uh, acetate that I thought was awesome. So that's pretty cool. And then they have more vellum. And I can't wait to get the shimmery white um, cardstock because I thought that would be really cool. I like it. I dig it. More bags. This time they got like two inch bags. Hold on, let me find it. 2x8 uh, little cellophane bags. What a cute way to give away a bookmark that you've made. So, I don't keep it protected. So, here's some more. The ribbons and washi and tools. Now, there's three different ombre pads, and what I like about this ombre pad is rich raspberries in it, and that's a discontinued color. So I like that we still get to have that because of this set. Although re-inking it would be a little difficult, but it could be done. The embossing powder. And I've had my clear embossing powder from them forever and ever and ever, and I haven't gone through even half of it. Um, it's it's long-lasting. Oh, what's exciting is the uninked st uh, stamp and spots because if you have um, if you have a party you can share it, and if you've got the reinker of course you can have your friends come over and you can share a little bit so the, everybody's not kind of jockeying for the same pad so I think that's a cool idea or you can probably I don't know for sure so I'd have to try it out but you could probably get a little bit of glue in there and stamp into glue to stamp to shake um, glitter over top. That might be an idea I'd like to try. I don't know for sure that it'll work, but it's worth a shot. Heat and stick powder. There's a couple things here I'm going to get. And I broke my snail adhesive. Um, I dropped it on the floor and scooted.